so assuming I've got uh, an Ubuntu uh, Linux machine set up, ready to go, uh, what can you talk me through the process uh, that I'd go through in order to get EasyMOS set up? Okay, so we've really tried to simplify this to make it as simple for people to jump into it as possible. Essentially, what we have is a one, a, a three-step or one, two, three-step process that you would need to follow in order to actually get EasyMOS up and running. Firstly, um, we've assumed that you haven't got all of these things installed. So we've tried to make sure that we cover all of the edge cases in terms of the dependencies. So the first thing that you do in step one is you install Docker and Docker Compose. So you install curl, which is a dependency on our script. And once you have that installed, we've created a little install script called install.sh, which will reach out and go and get the latest Docker and Docker Compose. And these are effectively the um, community editions of Docker and Docker Compose. So we're not using the, the packages inside the distribution itself. We're trying to make sure that people are consistent and using the latest using the Docker community edition. And then finally, once you have Docker and Docker Compose, to make things a little bit easier, out of the box, you have to use um, sudo in order to run Docker containers. Now, you can actually get around this by adding your current user to the Docker group within Linux. And actually, um, you do that using these two commands. So add group Docker, create the group, and then you can actually add your current user to that group. And that gets you around the need to sudo or run as root every single container. So that's step one. That's basically all you need to do to get the installation done. Step two is about configuration, OK? And what we do inside Docker Compose is we use a technology called the Mac VLAN driver. OK, what that effectively does is it's creating extra IP addresses on your network. And we do this very deliberately because we want to try and make EasyNMOS as realistic to true life as we possibly can. So the registry would be running on a different IP to an NMOS node. So by using this Mac VLAN driver and the Docker Compose, we can actually simulate that even though things are actually physically running on one server. So you need to configure these IP addresses, and this is down to what, you're, what network you're on. So we have an example in the Docker Compose environment where we are assumed that your network is 192.168.6.x something. So it's a slash 24 subnet, and it has a set of IP addresses. Now, the objective here is you need to go in and edit this docker-compose.yaml file to actually change these IP addresses and subnets to match what you are actually using. We've given you an example and an example subnet, but you need to tailor that piece for your network. So if you're on a .10 network or on a different 192 or 172 network, you need to change it accordingly. So basically, you go into the Docker Compose YAML file, you edit these IP addresses, and there's one for each of the containers. That's why there's three, one for the registry and controller, one for the virtual node, and one for the AMWR testing tool. And then right at the bottom, there is a network section of the Docker Compose YAML file, and you need to adjust the interface adapter, the physical LAN adapter that you're using in your server and the network subnet and basically that is all the configuration that you need to do and if you need more information about this there's a full explanation and instructions held on the uh, github repository so that's step two so we've done installation we've done configuration and then the final step is actually just getting it up and running and actually if everything's right, this is now just one command. You can do docker compose up, and what it will do is it will create all of the network interfaces automatically. Um, and then what it will do is down, if it, if it needs to, it will download the containers 
from the internet and then it will start the containers one after another. Um, it's the Docker Compose YAML file is designed so that it obviously starts the registry first and then it brings up the virtual node because the node needs to talk to the registry. And then finally, it will bring up the MMOS uh, testing container as well. So you can see here, it creates the network, sets up the IP addresses, pulls the containers, starts them in order. And then what you should see on your screen is a running commentary of what is going on within the containers. And the advantage of Docker Compose here is on the left-hand side, you will see a different color associated with each of, each of the containers. So you may have blue for the registry and then green for the virtual node, and then yellow maybe for um, the testing tool itself. Once you've done that, basically you should be ready to go and you should be able to browse to the actual containers using the IP addresses or the MDNS names as referenced in the uh, GitHub repository. So again, I would recommend you go and look at this bit inside um, the GitHub repository because you can actually hopefully use the MDNS names on the dot local sub on the lock dot local DNS um, tree in order to access everything that's on the network. And that's it. Hopefully it should be pretty much simplified and you can get this going within five minutes, hopefully.